So in this video here, I'm going to show you how you can create a branching scenario inside interactive video. So today what we're going to do is we're going to combine a couple of really cool features that are built into Adobe Captivate. The first is interactive video and interactive video allows you to take the otherwise passive form of training through through video recordings and turn it into something engaging that your learners can actually interact with. Uh, we're also going to combine it with another feature that is built into both uh, types of quiz questions and knowledge checks. Uh, and that's the ability with multiple choice questions that have a single correct answer. You can choose a what's called advanced answer option, which allows you to choose different actions depending on the selections that your learners take. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing this project with all of my members over on my Patreon channel to download and play around with. I've simply downloaded some sample Adobe stock videos to use for this project, but of course you could insert any videos that you wish. We're starting off with this first video clip and you'll see that I've gone ahead and set up my bookmarks. So for the first slide here, the first video, I have a bookmark at the very beginning called beginning. And then I have a bookmark uh, just before I'm going to show my first overlay slide. And I'm going to call that my try again bookmark. And right next to that is my first overlay slide, which you can see here. I've already set it up to be an overlay slide. And it's just simply a multiple choice question. We'll get back to this one in a second. Now for each one of my answers, I have another video clip. And at the beginning of each video clip, I have a bookmark, in this case called Distractor01. And then there's an overlay, which will provide you more information about that particular situation and a button for navigation purposes. And I repeat this two more times. The last time being, of course, where the person has chosen the correct path. And I haven't done anything to set all this up yet. I've just created the slides themselves. If they choose the correct path, they'll be brought to this final video where the salesperson in this scenario signs the deal with the potential customer and wins and succeeds and all that great stuff there. And I have an overlay slide for that particular video as well. So let's go back to the first video. Again, like I said, I've got my beginning, I've got my try again bookmark, and my overlay slide. So let's take a look at the overlay slide. Now, normally you can only have two outcomes for a knowledge check with multiple choice. When you go to your quiz panel, you'll see you have an on success action. And if you choose one attempt, you can actually set up your failure action. So two actions, success or failure. But with multiple choice single answer questions, you can actually do something a little bit different here. In this case here, my third answer is going to be the correct one. And what I can do is select each answer one by one and go over to the options tab and select advanced answer option. And what this means is I can have an action when your learner selects this answer. So in this case here, I'm going to have them jump to a particular bookmark. So in this case here, it's going to bring them to distractor 01. That's the first wrong answer. And we can continue playing the project. Next, we're going to choose the, the second distractor, turn on advanced answer option, jump to a particular bookmark, distractor 2 in this case, continue playing the project. And then, of course, our correct answer down here will take them to the correct answer video. So we'll just choose the appropriate bookmark for the correct answer and again continue playing the project. At the end of each of these videos, so here's Distractor 1, we're going to display this overlay and we're going to have a try again at the end of this slide. 
So in this case here, we're going to also jump to a bookmark and we're going to choose the try again bookmark, which is located on our first video. Same thing here. So here's our second distractor overlay. Jump to bookmark, try again. And for our correct answer, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead, we're going to take them to the bookmark that's at the beginning of slide number nine here. We're going to jump to bookmark. In this case, it's signing the deal. That's the video we're going to play if they're successful. Now on that final video, we also have another overlay. And if they wish, they could restart this. So I'm going to set that up to jump to bookmark. In this case, not try again, but the very beginning of the entire interaction as well. So real simple to do. It's just a matter of turning on the actions for each of your answers in that multiple choice knowledge check and setting the appropriate navigation at the end of all the videos. So you can provide feedback for incorrect answers, provide feedback for correct answers, and allow them to continue the path that is most appropriate here. Let's preview this and see how it works. So here's our video starting off and uh, the salesman feels that he's at a good point where he can perhaps go for a close of the sale. And we see our overlay slide. So let's uh, choose an answer here. What approach should the salesperson take? Well, let's show off their comedic side and belittle the customer. Everyone likes jokes. No, probably not the right way to go, as you can see here. She looks good natured, as the uh, overlay slide will say in a second there. But do you think he's really going to close the sale? I don't think so. Let's try that again. We jump back to the bookmark that's just before the multiple choice question. Now, of course, we'll choose the right answer. We're going to show them you're listening when you asked about their needs by demonstrating how your product meets those needs. And we'll hit submit there. And there we go. So he's doing a great job of convincing her that her, his product is appropriate for her. Shows her the results. And then we see explaining just enough of the product and service to meet your client's needs is often enough to close the sale. Let's see what happens next. And it looks like he's signing the contract, which is good. So congratulations by showing the client that you were listening to their needs. You gave them a sense of trust and you close the deal and got the paperwork signed. And you can add whatever controls here. I can do a restart and start the whole project all over again, or you could simply exit the course at that point. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.